the purpose of this slide is to show you and to indicate that for you to make use of simulations like the one that we shall be using FET, you need to have enabling programs already installed in your machine so that whatever a simulation that is in a certain format is always uh, can be easily played if it is enabled. Now the basics for these simulations are that uh, simulations, applications are programs designed to enact realistic situations in a digital device. They allow for interactivity between the user and the application producing different outputs when certain parameters are adjusted. This makes them useful as an alternative to experiments with certain benefits, although not fully as an actual one. They can be used for real situations, is impossible and abstract when explaining to students. Simulations have been in use for training in many professions, e.g. for pilots and even doctors with the benefits of minimizing risks of loss of life. Simulation requirements. Most simulations require specific computer programs to run and that's why people encounter challenges when their devices are not made ready. Since we shall be using FET simulations, quite often it's good to know which programs we need to install in the laptops and desktops at school when students are set to use them. FET website has a section that facilitates you to source for these program, for, for programs and install them so that they can use them offline as indicated there on the link. Simulation programs. The main programs that you need to install for purpose of simulations are Java, and you follow this link below to be able to install straight away. All Flash. There are several alternatives. That is Adobe Flash Player and Swift Flash Player and many others. And lastly, we have HTML5. This is the latest program since it's compatible with most gadgets, even mobile devices. This program runs on web browser, e.g. Firefox, Google Chrome, and many others.